Have you ever wondered how we as humans came to be the dominant species on Earth? Our story begins millions of years ago, with the emergence of the hominids, our earliest known ancestors. These primates, unlike any before them, began to exhibit traits that would set the course for the evolution of humankind. In the vast expanses of time, tucked away in the folds of prehistory, these hominids began to walk upright. This shift to bipedalism, a characteristic uniquely human, kick-started a journey of transformation. It was more than just a physical change. It marked the first steps towards the world as we know it today. This genesis of humankind is a tale of resilience, of adaptation, and of evolution. It's a narrative etched in our bones and imprinted in our DNA, a testament to our survival and growth. The journey of human evolution began with these early hominids setting the stage for a remarkable transformation. As time passed, these early hominids evolved into hominins, the group that includes modern humans and our closest extinct relatives. This evolutionary leap was marked by significant changes, the most notable of which was an increase in brain size, allowing for more advanced cognitive functions. This period also saw the dawn of an important milestone in human evolution, the use of tools. Hominins began to fashion tools from stones and bones, a development that not only demonstrated their growing intelligence, but also provided them with new means to interact with their surroundings, from hunting to food preparation. These adaptations were not simply the result of evolutionary chance. They were survival mechanisms honed over countless generations, allowing our ancestors to thrive in a variety of environments, from the lush forests of Africa to the harsh climates of the Ice Age. These changes marked a significant leap in the journey of human evolution, but there was still a long way to go. Around two and a half million years ago, a new genus, Homo, emerged, marking a new chapter in human evolution. This was a turning point, a time when our ancestors began to look and act more like us. Within this genus, several species arose, each with their own unique characteristics and skills. The first of these was Homo habilis, or handyman. This early human was named for its ability to create simple tools, a significant advancement over previous hominins. Homo habilis had a slightly larger brain than its predecessors and was more dexterous, allowing it to manipulate objects and navigate its environment more effectively. Next came Homo erectus, upright man. As the name suggests, Homo erectus was known for its fully upright posture. This species was the first to exhibit many features we associate with modern humans, such as a flatter face and a more human-like body proportion. But perhaps the most revolutionary aspect of Homo erectus was its mastery of fire. This not only provided warmth and protection, but also allowed for the cooking of food, leading to more efficient digestion and energy use. Finally, we encounter Homo neanderthalensis, or the Neanderthals. These humans were robust, physically strong, and adapted to cold climates. They were also advanced tool makers and are known to have used symbolic and decorative objects, suggesting a complex cultural life. These species, each in their own way, pushed the boundaries of what it meant to be human. They learned to manipulate their environment, to create, to adapt, and to survive in ways that their ancestors could not. They were hunters, gatherers, tool makers, and fire users. They braved the harsh climates of ice ages the threat of large predators, and the challenges of an ever-changing world. Despite their impressive adaptations and survival skills, none of these species were quite like us. So when did modern humans come into the picture? Fast forward to about 300,000 years ago, and we see the arrival of Homo sapiens, or as we call them, modern humans. Homo sapiens, us, are a unique blend of physical and intellectual attributes, our bodies became more slender compared to our predecessors, with a significant reduction in muscle mass and bone density. This transformation, scientists believe, may have been a response to the shift from strength-based survival to a more cerebral one. Our brains developed at an unprecedented rate, becoming larger and more complex, bearing the seeds of our unparalleled cognitive abilities. This brain expansion allowed for innovative problem-solving, abstract thinking, and most importantly, the development of language. This linguistic leap enabled us to share ideas, pass on knowledge, and build sophisticated societies. 
Homo sapiens are believed to have first emerged in Africa, but our restless curiosity and adaptability led us to migrate, gradually populating every corner of the globe. During these journeys, we encountered other Homo species like the Neanderthals and Denisovans. Some of these encounters resulted in interbreeding, traces of which can still be found in our DNA today. As we settled into different regions, we began to transform the world around us. We learned to control fire, developed tools, and invented agriculture. We replaced hunting and gathering with farming, leading to permanent settlements and the birth of civilization. We also began to express ourselves creatively. From cave paintings to intricate carvings, art became a medium to communicate, to express emotions, and to understand the world around us. This cultural explosion set us apart from other species, marking an important milestone in our evolution. And that brings us to where we are today, the result of millions of years of evolution. But remember, evolution doesn't stop. So what does the future hold for human evolution? Let's continue this journey and explore what might lie ahead. Yes, we have come a long way, but the journey of human evolution is not over. So what's next? As we peer into the uncertain future, several theories and predictions about our continued evolution emerge. Some scientists speculate that humans may evolve to have larger heads, accommodating an ever-expanding brain. Our eyes might grow bigger too as we adapt to a world increasingly dominated by screens. On the other hand, technology, that great accelerator of change, might play a crucial role. Advances in genetic engineering could allow us to direct our own evolution, bypassing the slow grind of natural selection. And let's not forget about the environment. Climate change, pollution, new diseases, these could all force us to adapt in ways we can't even predict yet. As we continue to change and adapt, one thing is certain, the story of human evolution is far from over. It's a story that's still being written every day by us.